Oh, hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia and this is Asia May Beauty where I encourage you to embrace you and be bold in your hair, makeup, and lifestyle. Right now, girl, we are living our fearless life. We are trying new things. We are being bold in our authentic selves. And a part of that journey today, I'm going to be putting some color in my hair. I'm always very leery about color. I'm afraid of getting the weird looks in the store. You know what I'm saying? People looking at me crazy this year since I'm fearless you know what I'm saying I figured I would try the things that I've always wanted to try and it's just something about this ombre color that I really like now I purchased this hair with my own coin from Amazon you can get the direct link down below now this comes in a lot the lot has six packs in it I purchased two lots and this one I have not opened yet so it comes with six bundles. I used four out of the six bundles. From the fourth one, I have this much hair left. And then I have these two left. This hair is super soft, so soft and very easy to braid. To prepare this hair, all I did was remove it from the packaging. I filled up my sink with warm water. I added a little bit of apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. And I allowed the hair to get fully submerged under the water and soak for about an hour or two hours then rinse it out and let it dry completely. And the apple cider vinegar is going to help remove the alkaline from the hair. So the hair dries really soft. It is very nice hair. Like it doesn't tangle as you braid. This is some great hair. So now I wanna show you what it looks like when you open it up out the package. This is what the package looks like when you order off of Amazon. So when you open it, it comes with a little card. It comes with a crochet hook and then you have your six packs of hair. All right, so now let's hop into how I did this style. So we're popping this off with a flat Swiss style and I'm gonna take the TGIN Miracle RX leave-in and just put that in my hair. I then section my hair off using Croco clamps just to make it organized and I'm gonna brush through my hair. To brush through my hair, I love using the Eye On Vent brush. This is perfect for heatless blowouts. So essentially, it'll get your hair nice and detangled and prepared for the braiding process. And I love either brushing out a twist out or a braid out or something like that to get my hair stretched for a heatless blowout um, and just preparation. So I continue to brush through all of my hair and section it off. And then we're going to begin parting my hair. To part my hair, I'm using the Ion Silicone Pintail Comb. And this is great because it gets your parts super straight. I love to use Shine and Jam just to help my parting process. So after I do like a initial part, I'll add a little Shine and Jam, part it again, and use the Shine and Jam to hold the hair into place. Now once I've got my hair parted straight down the middle, I sectioned off my hair. I used sections about this size and I put them all on my little rack. You can get these racks on Amazon or even at Walmart. Next, you're gonna take each section and divide them in half horizontally. And I like to make sure that this line is nice and straight so I part it from the front and from the back. And that just gives you a better view as to whether or not your part is even. And then once I've gotten my part nice, I'll go in with Shine and Jam again and we're gonna begin the braiding process. So I love to first smooth down my part and my root. This just helps when I comb through it, it makes my hair nice and sleek. So I'll comb through with the rat tail comb and then I'll apply a little bit of serum and begin to part my hair. Now, when I part my hair, I take the Shine and Jam a little bit more. I go in on the hair and I, I put it down the length of my hair. This will get my hair nice and sleek and make it super easy for me to tuck my hair in the extensions. I'm gonna grab two pieces of hair and break it in half. And these are gonna be the tiny sections that you use to start off the braid. So I use my finger and I just part off a little section and I divide it into three smaller sections and I begin doing my crossover stitches. I do that one to two times and then I begin to feed in the small section of hair. I wrap that around my pointer finger and I join it with the outside strand and I just begin to braid it in as normal. I'm gonna do two to four stitches and then add in another piece of hair. And now when I'm adding in the piece of hair, I'm just wrapping it around my pointer finger mid stitch. This makes it so easy to just continually braid. All you gotta do is grab the hair and continue your stitch. 
it's really simple. So for each of these, I use two small sections and two, three bigger sections. So in total, four sections, um, but just one of them is, you know, split in half. I'm also just making sure to tuck my hair in at the ends. I'll talk about this method a little bit more, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick view of it and show you just the progression process. So this is the size parts that I did throughout my hair. As you can see, it's about an inch in width. I would consider these to be medium large braids. So I had a total of 12 braids in the back of my head. And then I had a total of 16 at the top. So eight on each side. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit closer the method one more time, just so you know how to do it. So as you can see, I'm mirroring the parts on each side. So I made sure that they were even. And then I took my pointer finger and I sectioned off a small piece of hair. Then I divide that piece into three pieces. Then you just begin stitching your braid like you usually would for a cornrow. I usually do two to three stitches. Then I add the hair around my middle finger. I then attach the left strand with the left strand of my hair. I'm then gonna do a crossover stitch. I'm gonna do this two to three times. And I'm also making sure to grip the roots of my hair. I add in another piece of hair and I just continue to do the same method all the way down. Again, I put two small pieces in. So one of those large sections I showed you divided into half, and then I use three of the regular size sections um, throughout the length of the braid. And when it comes to the section in the back, the braided portion or the cornrow portion isn't going to be that long, but I still use the same amount of hair. So of course I would be feeding in the hair a lot more quicker and using less stitches in between. Now, another thing that I love to do is just detangle my hair as I braid. So when I get to the ends, I make sure to brush through it. I also add shine and jam to my hair, just really making sure that I get my hair nice and tucked. This is what my hair looks like once I braided the ends down. And I'm gonna take some clear beads and put them on. I start off by determining how long I want it to be and just kind of marking that with the rubber band. And then I will measure all of my braids up against that rubber band, kind of eyeballing it. Now I'm using a beater here. I just put the beads on, slide them up, and then braid my hair down and add some more beads. I don't like beaters though. So literally this one broke on me as I was doing this. So I switched over to a bobby pin, which you guys will see here in a second. Bobby pins are perfect. They're more sturdy and they're free. So, I mean, usually you have a bobby pin on hand. That's better than buying a beater in my opinion. So again, I'm just going to put six beads on every single braid and then measure each braid against my initial length braid to make sure that they're all even in length. Once I've did that, I will cut off all of the ends and then just move on to accessorizing. So for today's accessories, I'm using these gold coils that I got from Sally Beauty. These are super affordable and cute. Now I messed up, I'm putting them on after the beads, which I do not recommend. Definitely put them on first and then do your beads. Um, it's a lot easier. All you'll have to do is just pull it through your hair with a crochet hook. Instead, as you can see, I'm spinning them on and tightening them afterwards. I think it is so bold, so cute. I've actually gotten a lot of compliments on it just out grocery shopping and stuff. So I'm loving it. I'm gonna be keeping this in for a few weeks. Let me know if you're gonna give it a try and remember to live fearlessly. I'll catch you loves in my next video. Bye.